My name is Caroline Orfila. I'm a professor of plant biochemistry and nutrition at the University of Leeds. And I'm also associate director of the Global Food and Environment Institute. I want to explore with you the following question. Can the African food system be climate smart and nutrition sensitive? This is one of the questions that I have been researching over the last few years, during which I have been fortunate to work with a number of scientists across Sub-Saharan Africa and to visit the continent several times. During this time, I have fallen in love with a hugely diverse natural environment and also its hugely diverse culture. I have been very impressed by the scientists' commitment to meeting the Sustainable Development Goals. I have learned a lot from them and I am thankful. Unfortunately, hunger is still highly prevalent in some parts of rural Sub-Saharan Africa. I have witnessed how rural communities and households experience the double burden of chronic malnutrition and climate change. Climate change is having severe effects on agricultural productivity, with drought, heat and pests severely diminishing harvests and leading to insufficient and inadequate food access for rural populations. Based on research by my group and many others, I propose that for the food system to be climate smart and nutrition sensitive, a number of actions need to take place. We need to promote diversification of agricultural production to include drought, heat and pest resistant crops, including maize, but also millet, sorghum, potatoes, cassava, banana and other crops adapted to African conditions, along with agricultural practices that restore rural ecosystems. We need to enable sustainable production of high quality protein sources including legumes, mushrooms, insects, fish, poultry and other livestock. We need to facilitate community-based cultivation of micronutrient-rich fruits and vegetables. We need to invest in low-cost processing technologies at scale to extend the shelf life and improve palatability of foods without detriment to nutritional quality or safety. We need to promote fair and inclusive market participation of farming community, including women and the youth at both local and wider scales. And finally, champion a circular bioeconomy that valorizes agricultural byproducts and reduces wastes and pollution. So, can the food system be both climate smart and nutrition sensitive? I believe it can be. It requires science-led innovations, coordination of food system actors and strong leadership at community, country, regional and global levels. I look forward to continue researching this question and collaborating with African scientists as part of the Food Systems Research Network for Africa, led by the University of Pretoria.